for Sedgefield, I'm afraid it will be necessary to reduce the time limit on backbench speeches to three minutes in an attempt to accommodate as many colleagues as possible. Mr Phil Wilson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise in support of Motion M in the name of the Right Honourable Friend for the Member of the Derby South, which calls for a confirmatory vote by the British people on any Brexit deal. I would like to begin by saying why I have come to the conclusion that this should be put back to the people. I completely respect those colleagues who have a different viewpoint to me, but this is a passion, a position that I passionately hold with great sincerity. I know those who disagree with me also hold their views in the same way. But I believe in my heart of hearts that the British people have the right to the final say on this country's future direction. We already have the Prime Minister's withdrawal agreement, but today the possibility of deciding on other options to negotiate with the EU and perhaps what will become another withdrawal agreement or deal. It is clear from the range of motions tabled, Mr Speaker, that Brexit takes many forms. But about three years since the EU referendum, we now know that what Brexit will look like if the Prime Minister's deal gets through. My question is, how does it compare with what was promised in the referendum? Is it what the people voted for back then? The answer to both questions is, we'll never know unless we ask them. My experience is the concept of Brexit is just that, a concept, an idea, a viewpoint, a general principle such as leave means leave. And as those who adhere to the concept of leave means leave try to give it depth, or any kind of coherence, it falls apart into different schools of thought. For some, there are those who do actually believe leave means leave, so they just want to leave. There are those who have given a bit more thought about the concept and and belong to the Brexit school that teaches how to leave the EU on World Trade Organisation rules. There is the school that teaches how to do the Norway Plus option. There are schools adhering to the customs union and the closest possible relationship with the single market. There are so many different schools which teach how to do Brexit. To their adherence, there are all legitimate Brexits. They have one thing in common. They want to deliver Brexit, but none of them are Brexit. There is only one Brexit on offer. It's the Brexit deal negotiated by the government with the EU. It now defines Brexit. It is Brexit. However, if after this process today, the House agrees on a different option and it is negotiated with the EU, then that becomes Brexit. But the question still remains, how does it compare with the promises made in 2016? The people have the right to decide. Some say that another public vote will be... Uh, No, I'm not going to give way. These people are desperate to speak and there's not enough time. time. Some say that another public vote will be divisive. I believe implementing any deal without a final say by the British people is divisive and will be for years to come as people realise that Brexit does not end on the day we may leave the EU.